Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another stage race here on PCM Today we have the first World Tour race, it is UAE Tour, 7 stages So for the next 7 days we are going to try to do this race Where we can see right ahead it has some climbs so it is a race for the climbers for sure And yep it is in UAE, a lot of great riders are going to be here of course it is a World Tour race I have my list of starters I have the parkour for 2021, 7 stages, the majority are flat but of course these two ones, the 3rd and the 5th stage with the climbs in the end of the stage is going to be crucial for the GC of course and even a time trial of 12 km. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen, we are going to choose a team and the, from all of these teams, of course we have all of the World Tour teams, I'm going for Bahrain Victorious because I think there is an underrated team where we can do something good here because as you can see we have Damiano Caruso, we have Wood Pulse, even Jack Haig here so we have a lot of climbers and Damiano Caruso or even Wood Pulse is, if they are on a good uh, uh, condition they can be a very good shot for this race so yeah this is the team that I'm going for and uh, let's go into stage number one and so here we are beginning of stage number one and here we have the profile so it is a flat stage it's for the sprinters in our team we have Phil Bauhaus which it's on a good day as you can see he has plus one on sprint so 76 sprint we'll see what can we do but of course we don't have any train uh, to do a sprint with Bauhaus so I mean I have to go with someone's will and see what's going to to happen really and why is my guy pushing I don't understand but okay and yeah let's see the other guys vote pose here with a minus 3 and Jack Cake with a minus 1 so yeah these guys who are for the mountains are not with a good fitness so that is not cool but let's see on the next stages if they get better of course well guys you are on the last 17 kilometers of the stage and the, the peloton has just break apart really because these little hills it seems that with the pace that the peloton is putting it just create breakaways and uh, we have a lot of guys down as you can see here I think we have Eli Viviane behind Gaviria behind so yeah a lot of guys are behind right now we have my main guys in front that's what's matter of course just 42 guys here and uh, the team of Lotu Soldau is putting a great rhythm just to catch the breakaway and yep where uh, I didn't expect this at all really but yeah let's try to concentrate of course we have Bauhaus still here with a lot of energy and uh, let's try to sprint with him of course and so here we are approaching the last 5 kilometers we are still 6 kilometers to go and now a big attack by Thomas de Ghent or a big acceleration at least Phil Bauhaus is here at the front Damiano Caruso on his wheel just for the sake of positioning and yep I don't have anybody else let's try to focus here with Bauhaus I'm at the wheel of Sam Bennett and yep I'm just going to launch the sprint behind Bennett that's what I'm going to do of course I don't know how but yep two and a half kilometers to go now let's see where the sprint is going to start and now they are start sprinting I believe we are almost on the last kilometer now after this roundabout come on let's start now the sprint last kilometer everybody is sprinting Phil Bauhaus cannot go at the same rhythm with the other sprinter let's see up front it is Sesbol I believe Sesbol is the winner ahead of Sam Bennett and Jack Comunizol and Caleb Ewan and then comes Andev and Rami and Phil Bauhaus did not spend all of his energy so maybe I just sprint too late finish right outside of the top 10 but yeah guys this stage was a bit mad in the end I didn't expect at all but yeah I believe just 24 or something like that finish in the front group and the Sesbol is the winner of this stage so he is the new leader of the general classification and in the top 10 we have already Chris Froome, Alejandro Valverde so some big names for the climbs already here on the top 10 but they are all with the same time on the points classification of course it is Sesbol in front younger white classification is for Daniel Martinez and right here we can see just five guys with the same time and then the sixth place Jasper Philipson already 1 minute 44 seconds down João made it 2 minutes down so yeah a lot of guys have lost time right here so it's a big disadvantage for them for sure and our team is first on team classification so it's a good sign that we have 
a couple of guys in front I believe it was three guys so yeah a good stage not a win for us but a very good start for this UAE tour and so guys this is it for today tomorrow we have a 12 kilometers time trial so let's hope that Damiano Caruso and Volt Pose are in a good day because they have some decent stats of time trial so let's hope that they can use that and make a good performance and try to gain time on some favorites and yep this is it for today in a couple of hours we'll see the first stage of UAE in real life so let's see who is the winner if it is says bold or not so yeah stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the next stage tomorrow stay safe bye bye